Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. So in today's video, I want to do the top 20 blasts from the past Bath & Body Works fine fragrance mist. I have 20 of them here. Some of them are older, like from years ago, but are amazing, and Bath & Body Works needs to bring some of them back. And I think some of them they are bringing back. So let's get this party started. First up, Bally Black Coconut Sands. Smells amazing. It is, let's see, coconut milk, sea salt musk, and black sand. Oh, it has such a rich, creamy coconut about it. It's just really creamy and, and got like this coconut nectar vibe to it. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. Next up, I have... Boardwalk Taffy, I think this was out last year, and I think that was last year, yeah. But super good, I love this one. Oh, scent notes on this one, and I do have the matching cream in some of these, is, uh, at least for the ones that don't have the scent notes on the bottles, like, I'm glad we're doing it now, but they didn't used to do that. But anyway, the scent notes are Spun Sugar, Pink Berries, and Whipped Vanilla. Oh, that's so good. It's like that salt water taffy candy, yummy goodness. Oh, it's a definitely a must. So sweet and rich, and you definitely kind of get like a berry smell in there. So yeah, boardwalk taffy, a must for summertime. Next up, we have Tiki Bay Island Margarita. I think this one came out 2019, 2019, 2020, something like that. It came out in that whole line, that whole uh, tropical collection. I think they had, it was the same one from this this line. They had a bunch of them. I can't remember what else was in that collection, but yeah. But Tiki Bay Island Margarita is Sweet Mandarin, Island Mango, and Sea Salt. And honestly, it smells just like the candle, the Island Margarita candle. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, that one smells so good. It definitely smells just like the candle. You get that, you definitely get like that mandarin, but the mango and the sea salt, it smells like a margarita. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Like, now I want a margarita. Okay, it's sunny outside. I want a margarita now. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> this is a blast from the past. I think this one, oh, let's see. It was from... 2013 you guys oh my god pure paradise yes love this one scent notes are fresh star fruit juicy guava dewy cassis luscious gardenia frangipani water lily white musk blonde woods and sun-kissed coconut so yeah and i actually still have the lotion look at that look at that you can tell how old it is by the style of the bottle but the lotion is still good the body creams tend to go bad faster, but the lotions, some of them obviously can last uh, nine years up in here, okay? Because that's 2013. So yeah, this is Pure Paradise. Oh, it's such like a fresh, just a real fresh, dewy type of a smell. You definitely get the guava initially. But then that gardenia comes through just a tiny bit and the water lily. And then it has that musky type of a coconut scent. Very good. So some of you guys who have been Bath & Body Works lovers for forever, like me, will probably remember this. Pure paradise. Love it. Moving on. We have a guava papaya sunset. Now, I know a lot of people that be loving this one. They do occasionally bring it back during SAS. So keep your eyes peeled for this one. Otherwise, with a lot of these, you can probably find them on Mercari, Poshmark, eBay even, maybe maybe even Amazon Marketplace. And yeah, you might have to pay a little more for some of them. But in my opinion, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Aguave Papaya Sunset. This one is Sugar to Aguave, Golden Papaya, Dulce de Leche, Coconut Sands, and Exotic Musk. And I do have, of course I got the lotion. Of course I got the lotion. Oh, yeah. 
it is like papaya guava candy, like the dried fruit, the sugar dried fruit. Oh, it's so good. It's just, it's summertime in a bottle. Just fresh and juicy. Oh, I love this one. Aguave Papaya Sunset. Love her. Next up is one that we also see typically brought out with Aguave Papaya Sunset during SAS. And that is Iced Pear Margarita. Iced Pear Margarita, of course, I got the, you know, you know your girl got to have both. But yeah, you'll usually see this out during SAS with that papaya. Yeah. And then scent notes on this one is Fiesta Pear, Baja Limon, Mango Flower, Mayan Sugar Cane, and Mexican Sandalwood. How did I not know that there was sandalwood in this? Goes to show how many times I actually read the scent notes on my products. But, oh, so good, you guys. You definitely get that pear, and it's like a juicy, sweet, bursting with freshness pear. Mixed kind of like with a little bit of a margarita boozy smell, but it's not boozy boozy. It's just like that margarita smell a little bit. Oh, it's so good, you guys. If you have your chance to get your hands on this, oh, definitely get her. She is beautiful. Yeah, that's that iced pear margarita. Definitely get her. Totally. It's a good one. It's a good one. Next up, we have Fresh Coconut Colada. Love this one. This is another one that sometimes will come out during SAS, Fresh Coconut Colada. And I do know that Mercari does have this one. In fact, I have a Mercari page myself. I will link it below. And I think I still have a couple of these up for sale right now. But um, Fresh Coconut Colada is coconut milk vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. And yes, I have the lotion in it because that's just how I roll, okay? Oh, yeah. You get that coconut milk and that colada, like that real creamy colada, the way a pina colada smells. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Oh, I wish I could have you smell this like right through the phone or right through your TV or your computer screen. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Fresh coconut colada. Definitely uh, a creamy coconut with that a little tiny bit of that booziness, but it's so good. It's so good. Next up, we have Denim and Daisies. And I believe this came out last year with that whole firecracker pop and bonfire bash. And the reason I think that is is because they had like that sparkly lid. Did you guys see that? It had like sparkles in the lid. And Denim and Daisies is Sweet Daisies, Sun Wash Denim, and Summer Citrus. Oh, I really like this one. It just smells like you put on a cute denim sundress, and you're sitting in a field of wildflowers and it, 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 daisies, and it kind of smells like laundry, daisies, and fresh air. Yeah, it is just beautiful. I don't think they're ever going to bring this one back. I hope they do because it really is good. And I think people missed out on this one. Denim and Daisies. It's really good. Definitely check her out if you ever have an opportunity to. Next up, we have Coconut Lime. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys remember. I want to say it was when the pandemic first started. They had just brought these out into the stores and then everything got shut down. It was brought out like right around the time they dropped the tropical line coconut lime it actually came out with two other ones which i have those as well the coconut coconut pineapple coconut lime oh, you know what actually i think coconut lime came out last year because in the first set of it the first coconut lime was the coconut pineapple the coconut coconut palm and coconut hibiscus i don't have the other two but i've got these three because when they brought back the coconut lime last year is when they added that coconut lime. But all three of these are my absolute favorite. The coconut lime, scent notes, super simple. Coconut cream, sparkling lime, and salt water waves. I really like lime. Lime smells so good in the summertime to me. Oh, yeah. And this one is definitely like a fresh burst of citrus, that lime. The coconut is definitely secondary to this. Like, it really hardly even comes through. It's, it's like a straight-up lime, fresh lime. 
like lime you salt or squeeze on into your margarita or lime that you're popping down in your Corona bottle. Yeah, that's what I think of. Oh, so good, so good. So yeah, coconut lime, definitely a must. Um, that coconut pineapple, love this one. Oh my God, you guys. I actually have a couple of backups of this one. Scent notes are literally coconut and pineapple. That's it. That's it. Coconut and pineapple. In fact, this bottle is like almost gone. I'm glad I have backups. You know the pink pineapple sunrise, how it's like the a juicy pineapple? This one is like her big sister. Because even though that one's juicy and fresh, this one, you definitely get the, the coconut in this one. But pineapple is the star. But it smells so so good. I actually think I prefer this one over Pink Pineapple Sunrise because I think the pineapple in this one is sweeter. It's not as juicy as the Coke Fresh Pineapple, the new one that's out, the uh, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This one's juicier and that coconut in there kind of makes it a little bit creamy. It's really good. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Definitely, if you ever have a chance to get your hands on that, go for it. And then the last one that with that one, at least with that line, the plain coconut. That's it. In fact, the notes are coconut milk, sea salt musk, and fresh vanilla. Oh. Like, coconut is a perfect name for this because it literally, I don't get sea salt musk or fresh vanilla. All I get is like a really creamy, fresh, cracked open coconut. You know the Goya cans of the coconut milk? That's what this smells like to me. Yeah, the Goya, like the, the cream de coconut, the stuff you would actually mix in. God, I'm talking about all kinds of drinks today. Like your girl's brain is just on day drinking in the, in the warm weather, right? I don't even know where to go with that. Yeah, that's exactly what that smells like. Oh, but it's so good. I don't know if they'll ever bring this one back out. I'm hoping. I know they have a coconut vanilla online i think it's an online exclusive but it doesn't smell the same as this but it's probably it's it's pretty close but it's not it's not the same it's not the same this one i love her next up we have one that will be coming back finally we have beach nights because this is my last set of this and your girl's gonna have to get more because this is bomb beach nights is toasted marshmallow Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. And you guys, it literally just smells like you're sitting by a bonfire and you're roasting marshmallows. It is so good. So good. Yeah, that's Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow is what they actually call it. I don't know. I, the new packaging looks really cool. It looks like it has a firework on it. It's not released yet, but best believe when it is, your girl's going to be getting hooked up on that one. Oh, yes. I will be getting multiple backups of that one. Oh, my gosh. It's just like a toasty marshmallow mixed with like a little bit of sea salt breeze. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Definitely, definitely when it comes back out, get you some beach nights. You need some beach nights in your life, sister, okay? Girlfriend, guy friend, my friend. You need some beach nights in your life, okay? Next up, Belize came out last year. They did not bring this back, and I'm kind of sad because it is, it's Belize Tropical Cabana. Scent notes is banana daiquiri. Yeah, banana, which... Bath & Body Works doesn't do banana very often, which I really wish they would, like a banana cream pie scented body care. Like, that would be bomb. Bath & Body Works, are you listening? We want banana. Banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands. Oh, you definitely get that banana daiquiri. Oh, it's so pretty. But, like, banana daiquiri mixed with, like, summer sunscreen but like the yummy selling smelling yummy selling yummy smelling sunscreen oh it's so good yeah banana daiquiri for sure in belize if you didn't get her you probably can still find her on mercari i haven't 
seen any on there, but I haven't been looking. But I guarantee somebody on Mercari has Belize, okay? Next up, we only have a couple left, you guys. We're almost there. Berry waffle cone. Smells just like the candle. Scent notes are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Some people either loved or hated this. I absolutely loved it. Ha, ha, ha. The berries, you get that waffle cone for sure. Like, for sure. Oh, it smells just like the candle. Just like the candle. Berries, you smell the waffle cone, the vanilla. Oh, it smells so good. And I have the shower gel on this too. In the shower, your whole shower ends up smelling like this. It smells so good. So good. Next up, we have another blast from the past. Sea salt, fresh sea salt mango. Yep, fresh sea salt mango. They had a whole line of these in these square bottles. That should tell you how old this is. Oh, this is actually from 2019, so it's not that old. Scent notes are fresh mango, sea salt breeze, sun-kissed clementine, watery musk, and orange blossom. Oh my God, this one is so good, you guys. Oh, that mango mixed with the sea salt. Oh my God, I'm eating it almost. It's so good. They have not come out with anything else like this in, since then. Nothing that smells like this. And you can tell I love it because look, I only have a, I only have a little bit left. And I've been savoring her because I don't want her to be gone because I don't know if they'll ever bring her back. She is that good. That good. Yes. Fresh sea salt mango. Bum. I think all of these are bum, but I'm going to say it again. Bum. Anyway, next up we have, oh, let me do this one first. Malibu Heat. Blast from the past. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This one came out in 2018. Malibu Heat. Scent notes are, because you know your girl's got the lotion, scent notes are juicy pineapple, California orange, coconut flour, creamy coconut milk, and sunny musk. Yeah, Malibu Heat's a good one too. Ooh. Oh, juicy, yummy. You get that mango in there and the pineapple. Or no, there's no mango. It's orange. That's what it is. Orange and pineapple. Oh, she smells so good. But like fresh air type, not super sweet, not super juicy. Like the fruit mixed with like a fresh air component. Very good, unique, because I haven't smelled anything like this one either. And that is Malibu Heat. I think in that same line, or no, actually I think this one's older. Yeah, this one is from 2015. I This is my last bottle of this, so I've been very sparing with her. So Ma Maui Mango Surf, Maui Mango Surf, and my last lotion. I'm, I'm savoring her. Ruby Mango, Guava Nectar, White Pineapple, Coral Hibiscus, and you guessed it, Island Sandalwood. Oh yes. I definitely have noticed that a lot of the ones that I really, really like have sandalwood in them. I'm a sandalwood girl, what can I say? Oh yeah, this is so pretty. The mango is in there and it's like a citrusy, um, like surfside hanging at the beach, you know, it, it's juicy, but it's not overly sweet. So it definitely has like that. You, you get the hibiscus in it a little bit. I think that's what that is. It doesn't make it as sweet because it has that floral component. Oh, but she's so pretty. Mm, yes. Yes. Maui mango surf. Love her. And then I have my last three that I absolutely love all three of these. Two of them came out last year and the other one came out 2020, 2020. Yes, 2020. And I'll save that one for last because she is my favorite. Cherry Limeade came out last year during SAS. Love it. Juicy red cherries, candied lime, and sparkling citrus soda. And I do got backups of this one because I don't think we'll ever see this one again. This Cherry Limeade, I don't. But you know what this smells like? A cherry lime icy. Like, do you remember the icy machines that had the little dog on them and you could pick your flavor for the syrup and stuff? That's what this smells like. Lime and cherries, but it's mostly lime. Oh, it's so good. So good. So good. So good. Oh, so vibrant and juicy. Excellent. Love this one.
Yeah, Cherry Limeade. If they ever bring her back out, stock up on her. Seriously, you don't want to miss out on this one. Last year, too, I think there's a citrus element going on up in here because grapefruit frosé, baby. Oh, yes, frosé all day. Sparkling grapefruit, frozen rosé, and sun-splashed sugar. Now, this, this is the closest I've ever smelled anything smelling like true, actual grapefruit. Oh, 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 like you cut a grapefruit in half and you're getting ready to put a little bit of sugar on it and, you know, eat that up. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is so zesty, juicy, vibrant, citrusy grapefruit in all of her goodness and glory. Oh my gosh, the most authentic grapefruit too. Yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous. And the last one, blast from the past, Sunset Glow. Bath and Body Works, why would you do us like that? Why would you introduce us to this beautiful lady and then snatch her away so cold-heartedly? Sunset Glow is the shiznit. Like, there is not, this bottle is like almost gone. It literally just has a little bit left. And I have backups upon backups. I... I'm not even kidding. I've got the perfume in it. I have, because they didn't, they didn't make like the big bottles, but they had the long little spray bottles. And I do have a couple of those, which I will be cherishing those. I, I won't be using those up anytime soon. I've got literally everything you can have in this because she's that good. It is fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. You get the cherry, you get the coconut, and the caramel. She is absolutely beautiful. And they took her away from us. Why would you do that to us? She's so beautiful. I think out of all the cherry scents that they have, which I know they have cherry, um, cherry crisp, they have, um, what was the other ones? Oh, chocolate-covered cherry. Uh, those are two good ones, but this one... Oh, it's that cherry and vanilla. It kind of, to me, smells a little bit like a cherry vanilla float. Oh my God, you guys, you guys. If you did not get Sunset Glow, I feel bad for you. Like, I legit feel bad for you. Because she is so beautiful. Yeah, if they ever bring her back out, do yourself a, a favor and pick her up. Absolutely gorgeous packaging. I love these colors. Gorgeous packaging, gorgeous scent. It's a win-win. But that's all I got for you guys today. Those are my 20 blasts from the past of summertime fragrances from Bath & Body Works. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a good time making it for you guys. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you are subscribed if you have not subscribed already. And hit the bell because you guys don't want to miss when I upload. I have so much good stuff coming for you guys. So I had a great time today. I uh, hope you did as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.